don't you take care of your own family before you take care of the stranger? If you don't have enough resources to feed your own family, don't you feed your own family first? Um, and we ab absolutely do have an obligation to, to, to feed our family, to take care of our family. And of course, it's an extrapolated to the nation as a whole. My first response to that is um, kind of what I said, talking about the homeless issue, is that I think people today, especially in the Western world, especially in America, vastly overestimate what they actually need to take care of their family versus what they want to take care of their family. Um, you don't need to have 15 subscriptions to different streaming services for your family. That is a want, not a need, all right? You don't need, you know, tickets on the 50 yard line to the Ravens game. That is a want, not a need. What would we as a Christian church look like if we started prioritizing our needs over our wants and taking some of those resources that we're giving to our wants to help those who have needs, who have real fundamental needs. So we live in a very blessed country. <clears throat> and I think we have far more resources in this country than people want to give us credit for and want to act like we, we have because we just want to hold on to what we have. We don't want to share. I mean, I think we all need to face up that that's part of the issue here is that we don't want to share. We want to keep it to ourselves. Um, and so I do think we all need to do some soul searching about what are, are truly our, our needs and where we can actually give up some of those wants to, in order to help people who don't have the most basic necessities. Um, that being said, all right, I'm also not naive to what's going on in the world today, um, where we certainly do have many cities in our country that are starting to, shall we say, come to the realization that they don't have the resources to properly provide for all of the, um, whether you want to call them illegal immigrants, undocumented, whatever, that are coming into this country and coming to those cities. I'm not going to go into how they're coming to the cities. I know that's a hot topic as well. But they're quickly realizing that <clears throat> there aren't enough resources to go around. And so some of the social services that would normally be provided for residents of that city now are getting shortchanged because they don't have the resources to provide for all the, in, the vast influx of people that are coming in. Well, let me say that I do believe that this is a absolutely legitimate reason for calling upon our government and holding our government accountable for regulating the border, all right, for managing who is actually coming into the country for triaging those people to figure out who have legitimate needs that really need to be here that we can help and who maybe don't, all right? And so we can control the inflow to a level that allows us to be good stewards of the resources that are afforded to us in this country that God has blessed us with. All right, we do still have to be good stewards of that. And part of that does mean controlling our border and <clears throat> for those people that, you know, are believe that we're not doing a good job of that, I agree with you, okay? And I do believe that that is a proper role of the government. It is, however, I believe a separate question for what we as the church should be doing once those people are here, all right? It is not our job as the church to control the border. That's the government's job. Our job as the church is to do God's word and to do what God tells us to do. And God tells us if there is a foreigner, he doesn't say if they came here with the permission of your government, then do this. But if they didn't, don't worry about it. He says point blank, if there's a foreigner in your land, you should love them, you should help them, you should provide for them, period. So I don't think there's anything inconsistent between saying government is not doing its job in controlling the influx of people that are coming into our country, while also saying that once they're here, even if we don't think the government should provide for them. And again, I'm very sympathetic to that argument because the government's job is to control that inflow. That is not the same question, though, as saying whether we as the church should be helping people who are not even having their most basic needs met. Does that mean we should be providing them all with, you know, giant flat screen TVs and <clears throat> 15 streaming subscription services? No. 
but we should be providing their most basic needs. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. God did not stutter. God could not be more clear about that. Thank you.